companies that are utilizing it to help drive are the ones that are much more transformational and having more success. Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. And this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm wearing pink in this video to help spread awareness that breast cancer not only affects women, but men as well. And so I'm just trying to do my part to help spread awareness about breast cancer. This video is the third video in my No to Pro series. Today we're going to be talking about how to remove values from a column and also how to remove columns from within inside of the Power Query Editor. And we're going to jump back right where we left off inside the Power Query Editor. So if you want to download the No to Pro file, it's in the link in the information section down below the video. Feel free to click on that link and download the file if you want to follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, as I talked about last time, anytime that you're working inside the Power Query Editor, you're going to get this little notification that there are pending changes that have not been applied. And to get back inside the Power Query Editor, we're simply going to select the Transform Data button. Okay, so this button right here is going to take us inside the Power Query. So, like I said, I am going to keep these videos relatively short. Uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is anytime you go into the Power Query Editor, you're going to notice that it gives you the option to refresh your preview. And so there's several ways to do this. You'll either get this UI pop up that's going to ask you to refresh it. You can also refresh your preview with this UI button here at the top. So on the Home tab, you can refresh your preview or refresh it from this little information right here. Now we know the information is going to stay the same because it's coming from an Excel file. The information has not been changed or uh, nothing's been done to the file since our last video. So this video is all about how do we filter out values within inside of a column? Uh, how do we remove columns that we do not want? So there's several ways to do everything with inside the Power Query Editor. You have to decide what way you like the best. So I can select individual columns by choosing the column header at the top. Holding down the control key, I can multi-select multiple columns here. So once again, select the column header that you want, hold down the control key, and you can multi-select the different columns. Now as your tables get larger and larger, it's going to be more difficult to scroll and click. So one thing that I like to show is the choose columns option here at the top. And once again, this is under the home tab. So the choose columns option. This is going to allow you to see all of the columns with inside the table that you're in. This is going to help us make an easier selection of the columns that I want to keep. So notice it says choose the columns that you want to keep. So I can deselect all of them and I can choose just specific columns that I want to keep. Now one of the benefits about this is that if I ever make a mistake, I'm going to click OK. Inside of the applied step section, which we briefly talked about last time, you'll notice this gear icon. Anytime you see this gear icon, this means that you can modify the step. So using the choose columns option allows us to modify the step and go back and choose additional columns that we want or that we accidentally left out. Now, the only way to remove a step, and we talked about this last time, or to make changes is through the applied step section. So if I want to get rid of this step right here, I have to choose the red X. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the X here to remove that step and my table is now returned back to its original position or original state. So let's say that we want to delete a column a different way. So if I hit the delete button here on the color column, you're going to notice that the column is going to disappear. But notice the difference. In the applied step section, there is no gear icon that allows me to modify this step. Once I click delete on the column, that step is set. So the only way to get that column back is to click the X with inside the applied step section. So you can just click the delete button, but it is recommended that you use 
the choose columns option so that you can modify the step if you need to go back. So let's go ahead and remove some columns from this stock item table. So if you scroll all the way to the right with inside of this table, you're going to notice the valid to column. Now we talked about data typing in the last video. We said that this ABC123 is the wild, wild west of data types. So it could be a text, it could be a number, it could be anything. So one thing that we want to make sure of is as we validate this data that we data type our columns properly. Now we're going to end up removing this column so we don't need to remove the value but we could replace it if we want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the choose columns UI since we're just going to be removing these columns and we're going to keep a majority of these columns here. So we're going to go to choose columns here at the top and I'm just going to deselect the last four columns. So I'm going to keep everything else except for the last four columns. I'm going to click OK. And now those columns have been removed. So it's very easy to remove columns with inside of a table. But what about filtering with inside of a table? So let's go over to our color column here at the top. Now another way to find the color column is to use that choose columns UI, but to use the drop down underneath. All the UI buttons or user interface buttons with inside the Power Query are going to have this button up top and the drop down. If you use the go to column option, this will allow you to see all of the columns with inside of the table and you can choose the one that you want to navigate to. I select color and click OK. And notice that it brings me to the color column. Now the last thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to filter out values. To filter out values, if you click the drop down arrow with inside of the column, you will see all of the unique values with inside of this column. To remove one, such as the NA, you can uncheck the value with inside the drop down and click OK. This will remove all of the NAs. So we've talked about how to filter, okay, so the drop down arrow allows us to filter and sort with inside of a column. We also talked about how to remove columns as well just by clicking delete or my recommended method using the choose columns option. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me in this video. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And don't forget, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so do a little bit of research and see how it affects people in your area. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.